Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, February 10th, 2021. Let's go to Randy for our Black History Spotlight. Today we spotlight Supreme Court Justice Derek Good Marshall, who was the first African American ever appointed to the U.S. Supreme Court. He was appointed by President Lyndon B. Johnson and served at the court from 1967 to 1991. He was a champion of civil rights with almost 30 Supreme Court victories before his appointment. During the times of severe racial strains, Marshall experienced discrimination that will shape his passion for justice and equal rights. He sure turned negative into positive. Now let's go to Scott for the sports highlights. Thank you, Randy. Today's sports highlights are brought to you by the Patriots. Cricket is easily one of the most popular sports in the Caribbean, England, and India, among other places. The game is very similar to baseball, except that matches are much longer and can go on sometimes for several days. It is a bat and ball game with two teams of 11 players on a field with a 66-foot long rectangle pitch in the middle and two wickets at each end. Like baseball, the object of the game is to make runs and take out the opponent. When 10 batters have been dismissed, the innings end, and they swap positions and do it again. The team with the most runs wins. Now let's go to Noah for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is chicken patty, bun, mixed veggies, pear, and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Noah. Scholars, you still have time to jump into the February I Ready Challenge. The February I Ready Challenge is focused on reading only. Pass 30 Reading I Ready lessons between February 1st and February 26th to join your classmates at the sub party. Start today to get all 30 lessons in. Patriots, we continue celebrating black history. Today, we get to show off our PowerPoint skills. Create a PowerPoint slide that celebrates our newly elected Vice President, Kamala Harris. You can share your artwork or slides with us at RPTV by emailing it to pines.renaissance at gmail.com. And teachers can upload to the RPTV OneDrive. Valentine's Day is just around the corner. Tomorrow is Who's Your Favorite Black Couple Day? Be sure to tune in every day to find out what fun activity or dress down will be going on during this month. Now let's go to see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Peyton. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 83 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. Let's hope we don't melt. Now let's go to Samuel for the joke of the day. Thank you, David. And here's today's joke of the day. Did you hear about the kidnapping in the park? Don't worry, they woke them up. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Samuel. That was great. And now let's check in with Solomon for today's birthdays. Thanks, Peyton. Today's birthday boys and girls are Alexander Pierre and Lila Pena. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Solomon. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Barrow, Miss Soto, Miss Antiseban, Miss Hendrickson, Miss Julian, Miss Ayam Denqua, Miss Stone, Miss Kane, Miss Gilbert, Miss Samuel, Miss Santori, and Miss Morass. You had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was What loses its head in the morning but gets it back at night? The correct answer to the riddle was a pillow. Now for today's riddle A doctor and a bus driver both are in love with the same woman, a girl named Sarah. The bus driver had to go on a long bus trip that would last a week. Before he left, he gave Sarah seven apples. Why? Again, a doctor and a bus driver are both in love with the same woman, a girl named Sarah. The bus driver had to go on a long bus trip that would last a week. Before he left, he gave Sarah seven apples. Why? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And don't forget, remember, reunite, 
rise. Have a great day.